Hello everybody, welcome to Bragg's Loft. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I let the young birds out, let them fly around. Nice big group there. I love to see you watching them fly, guys. <laughs> but uh, I hope you enjoy the video today. Just giving you a little update what's going on around here, which isn't a whole lot. I learned young bird uh, being let out and doing a little bit of breeding yet, but not a whole lot, so. Well, guys, I figured I'd bring in the breeding loft in here. Kind of show you what's going on. Not a whole lot in here. Got a few of my embers on the floor there, as you can see it on towards the bottom there. Sitting on the floor there. Getting rid, you know, being weaned off. And, uh, the ones that are in here are also on the floor. The guys down here are just a hair too young yet, so I didn't pull them on the floor yet. But uh, we're getting there. But uh, so far, the white pair that was in here have not laid any eggs yet. The ones over there in box number 10, they only had one egg that was fertile and uh, it's due to hatch any day. Hopefully it does, so that's all we can do. And uh, like I said, the ember pair, you know, as you can see there, their babies are gone. Like I said, they're on the floor here. They're starting to chase each other, you know, but uh, I won't let them have another round. I just gotta figure, uh, you know, if they have some more eggs, that's fine, but uh, they won't hatch them. This is my last round of my embers project, so they are looking pretty good. As you can see here, that one's nice. Nice and nice and bright red. I've got, you guys can see that quite well, but uh, anyways, and nothing in this pair. That was the other ember pair, it's in that box. The young ones are down there. Uh, nothing in this box, nothing in that one, nothing in this one. The, the young birds that were in this loft here are also on the floor. They are down here. The one's there. The other one is right there. So, but that's their last round too. And as they get chasing each other around in here too, but uh, ain't nothing's gonna happen because I'm not gonna let them have another round. So, but I can at least give you a little update what's going on in here. So, and then uh, like this, this one here, I'll go back to Travis, and then he'll go back to Travis once uh, these guys get you know a little bit older and get weaned off. So, he just has a game plan anyway. So. We're going to kind of give you a little update what's going on here, and I'll bring in the little loft here in just a second. So. Come on, bird. Come on. Come on, bird. Come on, bird. Come on. All right, guys, figure we'll uh, see that one little youngster down here. We're in that other loft in here, so I just got done cleaning up in here. Birds are looking really good. Um, I took that uh, putting the crap down and kind of put it down here on the floor. And we had uh, one pair beside the legs in there, so I put a uh, fake egg underneath there. They got a fake egg. Uh, who else in here? These guys got a fake egg. Um, this one here, as you can see, I got a little red, red one. And that one there is off my Mealy uh, Jensen cock that I got from Mike from Rocky Ridge. And then uh, we got no youngsters here. I got no youngsters here. Nothing, I mean, uh, I don't know. I got two youngsters here, sorry. And nothing here, nothing here. And we got these two little down here. These are out of my two best pair. Or, and uh, as of last year for your young birds. So I really like the way this one looks. Just kind of a different color, you know. And of course, just a plain old blue bar. I don't care for the blue bar color, I guess. So, or blue check much, but for right now, they're here, so, but actually I might end up just selling him or her, whatever it is, and keeping this one. 
but I haven't decided yet. So, but for sure, I definitely will sell him, but I'm, or him or her, whatever it is, and keeping that one. So, but anyways, uh, there also I have a, uh, a young one, and that one there actually is not theirs. I actually split that one young ones up off this one and this one our siblings here and then these ones here i moved the tiger grizzle pair from the other loft over here and there they hatched which is good these guys are on eggs and then up here these are out of my two ash reds and as you can see here i have one ash red and then one black or i think it might be another kite this is the same pair before that I got me a kite off of, so. And down here is off my homozygous cockbird and my recessive or dominant opal. And these guys, it's just a gorgeous little bird. I'm kind of curious what it looks like when it's all said and done. I know the last one turned out just phenomenal, so. Kind of curious, so. See how it turns out, so. But anyways, we got nothing in here and nothing down there. And uh, nothing over there. And then I got a, a couple more new ones in here that I just got yesterday, and which is this one here, is another kite bird that I got from Travis, and I have this sibling in here too. He's just absolutely gorgeous. You can see the colors in them. Just gorgeous. And then we got another youngster over there. I have three of the youngsters going out tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. Today is uh, Sunday afternoon. I just finished that cleaned up. I just put fresh grit in there and then that bowl was full here about five minutes ago and now as you can see it's almost empty. But uh, it is what it is guys so but you can see that blackbird up there he's chasing this hen here but uh, I think I might do is split well I'm gonna fly plan is to split these guys up eventually here and then pair her up a little differently next year so and uh, kind of go from there so but I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, so please like, share, and leave a comment below, and thanks again for watching.